Hey everybody, EBA420 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get your AVI files into iTunes and onto your iPod. And as you probably already know, if you try and import an AVI file directly into iTunes, it simply won't happen. So here's a good solution. Download and install Handbrake from the link provided in the description, and once installed, go ahead and open it up. Now the first thing I like to do is set the defaults for the output files. Go to Tools, then Options, check the box as shown, choose your default path to save the files to, delete everything except Source from the Format box, and then click Close. And now let's choose a source. I have an AVI file on my desktop that I would like on my iPod, so I'll select that. And then from the Presets column, choose iPhone and iPod Touch, and the destination file will have what appears to be two file extensions, such as .avi.m4v. And this will not affect the outcome, but I like clean file names, so let's fix it so it only ends in .m4v. And also make sure the format below the file name is set to m4v. Now the resolution. I sometimes play the files on my TV, so I bump it up to 560. Leave the height box blank, it will figure it out for you. And you can also click set as default, so all these settings will be kept the next time you start Handbrake. And now you're ready to go. Click start and the encoding will begin. And when it's finished, your iPod friendly file will be in the location you specified. And when it's all done, you can now close Handbrake. Now go ahead and open iTunes. You'll see the new file drags right in, and you can even edit the info of the file if you wish to make it even more friendly. I like to use movie posters for my movies, and you could also use DVD covers. And to do this, uh, simply open a browser, and then right click on your movie uh, file in iTunes and choose Get Info. and go ahead and select the artwork tab and then google for your image uh, movie x movie poster should do the trick for me all right this one will work uh, select the image you want and then just drag it right into the artwork box in itunes and all you have to do is click OK and you're done. And this will also show on your iPod as well for the cover art. And then you can go back in to get info if you wish and add anything you want, such as description and so on. And then if you had your iPod connected, you could drag it right from iTunes right into your iPod and you're all set to go. That's all there is to it. And thank you as always and enjoy.